Those of us who don't have adolescent daughters know virtually nothing about Taylor Swift. But as NFL fans, we're confronted with her each time Travis Kelsey makes a big play. From the little I've heard, she's a best-selling singer who has capitalized on relationship tribulations of young women, a sort of Me Too movement of pop music. I have no interest in Swift's personal life and wish her well. Nonetheless, what I do find tragic is the cultural ethos that continues to lead millions of young women to take solace in the premarital lamentations of this genre of pop music. Entertainers have a unique opportunity to influence the culture. Rather than leading young women to avoid lifelong regret, these women and their sponsors make money off their suffering. Sex and romance carry deep implications as human nature's bonding mechanism to create families. Rather than vent bitterness toward exes in their music, the message should be clear and unambiguous. Sex outside of marriage violates human nature to its core. We laugh at the prospect of this truth communicated through the entertainment world, where illicit sex and money are the two main sacraments. And as we know, the culture at large has been programmed to follow the fundamental ethic of our post-Christian age, adult consent. As long as one consents to an act, it's good. If not, it's evil. This is a huge error the Me Too movement and the Western world at large fail to understand. Abuse can happen even with full consent. In fact, the artificial adult consent has resulted in 80 million abortions, 50% divorce rates, a soaring suicide rate, countless people on prescription meds, and the Atlantis Morissettes of the world screaming from the depths of their souls about the intimate gift of self they squandered with their full consent, quote, I'm here to remind you of the, of the mess you left when you went away. It's not fair to deny me of the cross I bear that you gave to me, unquote. She's right. It is unjust to her, her future spouse, his future spouse, and everyone's future children. That's because sex is, by nature, the unique privilege of committed spouses expressing and confirming their lifelong covenants made on their wedding day. Anything contrary to this is objectively abuse, with or without adult consent. God knows indissoluble marriage protects people from lasting wounds, preserves love as an unconditional commitment, and provides a secure environment for potential offspring. Unless pop stars communicate this truth with clarity, courage, and conviction, the elites will continue to make money off their message of so-called women's empowerment, which is really just a cover for jaded hearts and broken dreams. And that's your Murano Minute. Be that courage and clarity today.